Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment, I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back, you already know and you should be a witness to over 100 videos I made so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requests from people, some people not even subscribers, but it's fine. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't sell any courses, I don't have any paid memberships or anything like that, and never will. All the content I do create, I post it completely free on the channel. So it's a win-win situation. But I respect your decision, and I let you choose. The only thing I'm asking for, if this video helped you out, press that like button. I would really appreciate it. And here I am again, back with another video, because as I promised in my previous video, which is how to center the product pricing on the product cards, I promised you I would show you how to center the product title on the product cards. So it will look really good with the centered pricing and the centered title. It looks much different than the regular one, which is taking the left side of the product cards. That's exactly what I'm about to show you in this video, which is how to center the product title on the product cards on your Shopify store without using any apps or anything like that by using two lines of code and a very short code and completely free as I said I don't sell any codes everything I do provide as I said is completely free and without any more talking let's just jump to it as you can see this is the Shopify dashboard in here and I have down team which is the the one I do demonstrations on I mean in the videos but if I scroll down in here I have every other free team I mean the most used ones which is taste sense refresh spotlight and trade and if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try each one of my tricks on all of these teams. So again, even if you're not using down team, you're using one of these, it should work for you just fine. And even if it didn't, just drop me a comment, I will be happy to help you out, as I said. But I'm sure it will, no worries, because I have to uh, say this in each of my videos, that I'll give you a peace of mind. Because you're gonna see me doing it on down team, and you'll be thinking, ma, well, might not work for other teams. It does, no worries as I said, because I do that behind the scenes, I do try it, because I don't want to bore people out in the video. But I do it in down team because it's the most used one, and also it's the most requested one when it comes to questions from subscribers. So with that out of the way, let's just get to it and show you how to center these ones right here. So as you can see, as I said, I already showed the video on how to center the pricing on the product cards. Now I will show you how to center the title for the products and by the way if you are interested in this uh, lift effect or shadow effect as you can see some might call it make sure to check out the channel I already posted that video it looks like it's lifted from the from the page the product pictures look like it's lifted from the page it looks really good and professional but what I'm showing you in this video as I said is centering for example this one doesn't look good because the pricing in the center but the title is on the left so we will center the product titles as well so obviously we're gonna keep this page open do the trick come back and see it in action so let's just get back to Shopify dashboard and after that click on the three dots on left of customize then click on edit code it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team and in here we need to find a specific file instead of looking at the folder you might get dizzy or something <laughs> simply use the search bar at the top left corner and then again I have to repeat this it's gonna be either base.css or team.css or style.css it's gonna be one of these three rarely in some custom made teams it's gonna be custom.css but in my case I know it's either base.css or style.css or team.css in my case as I said it's base so I'm gonna type in base here we go so base.css and make sure it ends with .css so just one dollar Every time I said CSS, I'm going to be rich. <laughs> so after that, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. Let me drag this down. Here we go. And in here, we're going to paste a code in here. But as you can see, there is no space. You cannot paste it front of the closing bracket. So make sure to create some space. In order to do that, click on the last thing here in the line. Then hit enter on your keyboard. And here we go. We have a space in here. Because as I said, we need to paste in some code. In order to get that code, you need to hire a developer 
pay him, then wait 24 hours, get back to you with the call, then see if it works or not. I'm just joking, no need, no need. Just scroll down the description box and you will see a link name it as call. Then click on it and it will take you to this page right here. We're gonna see this very short code as you can see. This little code will do the trick. You don't have to hire any developer. <laughs> as I said, subscribe, man, subscribe. Everything I do provides completely free. So simply select the whole code in here, right click, copy, get back in here and paste it at the bottom of the file in the space we did create. Then click on the save button, wait a couple of seconds. We're good to go, get back in here, reload the page and ta -da! it looks much much different as you can see and it looks way better even though this one has a long title and it looks way better with the center title and centered pricing as well and that's how you center the product price on the product cards in your shopify store as i promised in my previous video if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one <music>